I think I'm actually getting close to uh, the limitations of scrap mechanic fundamentally. Uh, the lag produced by altering this uh, design is becoming very noticeable and may soon become a hindrance. Uh, so I've actually now developed uh, a new standard that I'm pretty sure will work uh, great for this processor architecture. So uh, the accumulator, which is this uh, strip of bits right here in memory, will be the sort of core memory of the whole system, and you would uh, have two options for moving data between any two addresses, and you would uh, you would be able to uh, immediately store uh, any addressable memory, generic memory slot, into the accumulator, and then you would be able to write that back to any generic memory slot, uh, eliminating the ability for generic memory to be uh, shuffled uh, without use of the accumulator as a middle uh, both eliminates uh, severe complexity and also uh, has a small uh, processing power fee, but that should be fine for this model here. Uh, currently, the idea is for anything, uh, any port presented to the control unit uh, that isn't the accumulator is going to be categorized as general addressable memory uh, so that you can you can try to write to ROM but it's not going to have an effect and you can try to read from write only memory which would be mostly used for the outbus over there uh, and uh, that wouldn't have any effect either uh, but you can uh, uh, try to, and that's a side effect of the generalization of it. But that also simplifies almost everything about this system and makes it so that uh, all of the machine's state is uh, just generic memory, except for the accumulator, which is the, the one special memory in the whole system, uh, which also it simplifies how the data bus is going to operate uh, because now technically there's going to be two 8-bit data buses uh, a two bus and a from bus uh, to and from the accumulator and between that and all general memory uh, and this eliminates the need for having things like a regist uh, register buffers at you know, the uh, ports of all of these modules and needing to uh, move data between those registers before operating on that data and weird things like that. Uh, I'm not exactly how uh, sure, or I'm not exactly sure how uh, th that whole system is going to work, but uh, I hope it's going to be enough to make this uh, not a lag machine, as it's already trying to become. Now uh, this part over here is actually what most of the problem is right now. Just look at the mass. And that's that's an effect of trying to store huge amounts of memory. Right now this is 64 bytes of information, not even a whole kilobyte. If I were to use uh, something like only stacks like this, then that would uh, reduce the problem. Uh, but that would also make it so that most of the memory is not uh, random access anymore. And if you were to have something like a Turing machine tape reel, that would make it so that you would need to seek along the tape reel in order to get to distant memory locations, which would have a, a, both an inconsistent and huge impact on performance.